Continuing with this uh, test of the Best Tech inverter, modified sine wave inverter, I'm going to test uh, a few PSC fan motors. Now this motor that we're testing now, of course it's PSC, this is a half horse motor. And we're going to see if there's any negative uh, operation of any of these motors. Uh, some of them will be in furnaces, some of them will just be out like this one is. I'll check the amp draw, both with it hooked to regular power and with the inverter, and we'll see what happens. Here we're going to start with using uh, standard power. Now this one's a little out of balance, so uh, you have to accept that. 5.8 amps. So let's see what it does when it's hooked up to the inverter. Okay, the inverter's hooked up. I'm noting uh, I'm running about 5. Point, well, 5.8. Same amperage as I was running with the uh, regular power. The motor doesn't seem to be doing anything obnoxious. It's a little hard to tell because of the vibration. Let's try another motor and see what happens. Here we are set up on, I'm just going to run the fan on this furnace. And first we're uh, doing it with regular power. This, uh, this is a fan that's actually in a furnace. And it's running 5.8 amps also. So let's see what it does when we hook up the inverter. Okay, let's see how the fan reacts when I turn this one on. Okay, uh, the amp draw is just a, maybe a little bit higher, not much, about two tenths. Uh, it did seem like it started a little slower, but it seems to be running okay. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find another PSC motor and see what happens. Okay, I have another motor on another gas furnace here, hooked up to regular power. Let's see what our amp draw is. Eight point seven. It's a little bigger motor. Ah. Uh, Seems to operate okay on regular power. Now we're going to try it on inverter power. We're going a little bit higher uh, amperage here. It's not doing anything odd. Yeah, this seems to uh, operate okay, too. Here I'm set up with the largest motor we're going to try. This one has a maximum amp draw of, I think, 11.2 or something. It's a three-quarter horse. Pretty good-sized motor. So let's see how this thing reacts with uh, normal power. <laughs> Looks like we're drawing about 9.1 or something in amps, uh, which is probably about right for it. Now it makes an awful noise when it starts up. Actually, I think the blower wheel is about to fall apart on this one. I don't think it has anything to do with the motor. Slightly out of balance, but uh, actually quite a bit out of balance. But that's how it runs on normal power. Let's see how it runs on the inverter. it's going to draw a little higher power about four tenths of an amp higher I think let's check the voltage interesting it's 
showing 130 volts. That's a little unusual. Yeah, about nine and a half amps. It's still under the rated load, but this isn't in a furnace, so I couldn't say when it's up against whatever ductwork there is. But uh, there's nothing abnormal about the mo way the motor's operating. We don't get any of the jerks and the like that we got off of some of the centrifugal starts. But uh, yeah, it's drawing a little bit more amperage. Can't say for sure why. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to give you an idea of what the amp draw is off this battery. Okay, if you can see that down at the bottom there, it's 7.4 or 74.3. So yeah, a lot of amps going out of this battery. But, I don't know, motor seems to be working reasonably well. Okay, so what's the result of all this? It looks like the PSC motors that I've tested seem to operate normally. And, you know, a three-quarter horse is a big motor, and that's only 2,000 amp uh, inverter. So, I don't know, it's doing pretty good for the PSC motors as far as I can tell. 